How has this season felt different for you in shooting it, or has it? <laughs> it definitely has. Um, I think the change in the scenario would be... These two are so cute. <laughs> <laughs> we almost kissed Jack. Um, just the, uh, the, the shift in it's the future and it's space, all of that changed the sets we were accustomed to forever, especially that more than me. Um, and then it, it really shifts the storyline because it puts all of the characters, it raises the stakes, it puts us in different situations that we haven't played before, all of us together trying to come out of this world that is completely unknown to us all. So, yeah, it's most definitely, for me, a different experience. Does that make it more exciting for you? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it makes it exciting in the sense that you're going to be challenged, you know, as an actor and as a person, too, to shift the, 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 the comfortability that you were accustomed to. And I think, I think it's different also because uh, instead of it being just an entity that we're going up against, it's also the environment. You know, it's the environment, then it's one entity, and then it's another entity. It's like it just, it's relentless in that manner. So uh, that keeps it interesting for us because we don't know what's coming next, and um, I, I hope it's fun for the viewers as well. Um, you had an extra technical challenge with all the, I'm sure, the green yeah. sleeves I'm sure you're wearing. Yeah. Tell me how it's been figuring out how to, how to do your job while you've got to deal with that limitation. Well, what we've seen so far are prosthetic arms. There's no green screws yet on my arms. The stuff, the, the, the nubs we've seen, those were made um, and put on me, sort of like a, a harness situation, and I would hide my arms in the back, which I shouldn't really be saying because those are all magic, magic things of cinema. But I love hearing that stuff because I think there's young artists out there that should that want to know how did you hide your arms or I've been getting that question a lot. So later on we'll see more of the special effects with green screen and stuff. Um, I've never gotten to play a character that's gone through an ordeal like that, so I'm, I'm really grateful to the writers and producers for trusting me with such a big art. And, uh, and just grateful as an actor to have a storyline to play with. Are you hearing from fans who may, be, may have some sort of similar situation in their own real life or have people reached out to you? Yeah, I had a girl who actually had her prosthetics on the other day send me a video of herself uh, trying to work things out for the first time with these arms and that was something that um, we'll see later hopefully on with Yo-Yo or getting accustomed to certain things but yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll wait for that because I can't say much about the arm situation. How good are you feeling about there possibly being a season six? I hope there is. I, I, I'm a complete unknown about it. Do you have any inclination? Uh, I know, I thought we were talking about This is yours, right? And then yeah, the charger, yeah. and then one of those are more based on. No, you're good. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I think... Uh, I think the possibility of a season six is pretty good um, in terms of how long and 22 episodes, I don't know, but um, it, 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 I think we're doing pretty good on Friday night compared to the other things that ABC has put in there. So, uh, and you know, and from what I understand that our show uh, is pretty popular overseas as well, um, maybe even more so here in America. And, and you know, we have the advantage of our show also informing the movies as they always do. So I think it's pretty good. What have you liked about uh, Max arc this season? You've got to do some cool stuff, some cool weaponry with the uh, yeah. shotgun axe and everything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, the thing that I like is that the uh, the writers went back to the. Uh, there wasn't. I felt like there wasn't closure with um, in the framework with hope. I felt like there really wasn't closure, and I'm glad. I'm glad they addressed that this season. And I also like the fact that uh, it's not just about Max turmoil. It's about someone that he loves as well. Something that she's going through, and, and now they have a, a shared experience. And it makes. I think when you have uh, things of that nature, it. it uh, it creates more levels for our characters, more nuance, and, um, and hopefully interest the audience. <laughs>
speaking about the framework, like you had one of my favorite lines this season at the very beginning when uh, you suggested that you guys might still be in the framework, and everyone was just like, "What? No, no, no that's not a thing." Uh, and now, as as of last night, I hope everyone is kind of caught up. Uh, we see we saw that uh, the framework version of Fitz is kind of back. Yeah. So how do you know how Matt is going to adjust to that kind of being a thing now because of how he reacts? Oh. Whoa! Wow! Yeah, uh, <clears throat> that's interesting. How much can I talk about that? <laughs> I don't know how much I can talk about that. I, but look, I mean, my guy's the kind of guy that any entity that is uh, unknown or I guess you could say is, is not a, a unpredictable, not that comfortable with it. So I, I, I can imagine that. I, I would like to see what Max. Uh, Biggest fears because that essentially what happened. Right, time, so. robots. Right. And I have now robot hands, so that, <laughs> that's, oh, yeah. that's something you all should be worried wow. about yeah. in between yeah. us. I become his biggest fear if I wasn't already. <laughs> <laughs>